Fun. My name is Becky, and I came to Living Water here in Boise, Idaho, because I wanted to do a cleanse. Um, and I signed up to do a three-day cleanse. I'm going to sign up to do the 10-day because that's absolutely awesome, but that's not why I'm on video today. What I'm here to talk to you today about is my hip. In 1996, I was lifting weights. I was pressing about 300 pounds with my legs, and when I got up, I couldn't walk. My, I had such excruciating pain in my hip joint, my right hip. And I went to doctors. I had three um, MRIs done with orthograms, the x-rays. I went to several chiropractors only because I really believe what they do and still do. Um, I went to physical therapy for two years straight and intermittent physical therapy since then. I mean, it's been this is 2011, so it's been 15 years that I've been living with this pain. What it doesn't allow me to do is walk long distances, and by long distances, I mean a block. I can walk about a block without pain, and then I get a stabbing, shooting pain going up into my right hip. It feels like someone has stuck a knife up in there and is wiggling it. I mean, it's, it's sharp pain. I, I don't know how else to describe it but that. And so, as you can imagine, through the years, I've tried numerous ways of healing, and I mentioned chiropractors. I saw a medicine woman. Um, I, I've done really different alternative types of healing. Acupuncture took the pain away temporarily, but none of it, I did massage therapy, none of it was a permanent fix. And so I came to Living Water, as I was telling you, and I was exposed to a machine called T-Zone. Um, I was invited to listen to Dr. Gaitner um, when he did his presentation and I came for about an hour and listened to that. He put me on the T-Zone and had me do a couple of different movements on it. I was on it for three minutes and when I got off, I, at that time, you know, I wasn't feeling pain, but I didn't feel pain until I walked and that night I thought, I'm going to test this. And I went out and walked the city blocks and trying to make the pain come, and it wasn't coming. So, you know, I'm a skeptic. I, I'm not believing it, really, until I see it long term. But I also had a little bit of hope. It planted a seed of hope in me. I was getting ready to go on vacation for a week, and I knew that we were going to try to do some walking, and I hadn't been able to hike in, um, in years. So I wanted to try to do a little bit of hiking as well. So I came here to Living Water, and um, David and Wendy very graciously allowed me to get on the T-Zone every day for 10 minutes. I did that for a week before going on vacation. Went on vacation, I hiked. I was walking without pain. It was, it was, it, you know, it was the most amazing experience. And I, I firmly believe that I am in divine grace right now. I just feel like I'm being healed. I'm so excited to be able to walk without pain. I, it's just, it, it's, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, honestly, David. Um, so I'm encouraged. I think that this is the way that I can heal my body without having to pay an exorbitant amount of money to continually see chiropractors and physical therapists and you know the orthopods um they god bless them for what they do they have a place in healing but they want to cut and i really don't want to be cut upon so um so i I'm living proof, and if it was it, me watching the video, I'd probably be saying, just like I did when we were, when Ian was here, Dr. Mm -hmm. Gaitner, when he had people there and people were giving testimonials, and I'm sitting there thinking, they're planted, they're paying these people to come say these things. They're not paying me anything to, get, <laughs> to say these things. I'm doing this because I know that it truly healed me, or is in the process of healing. I can't say long term, I've only been doing it for a few weeks but I haven't had pain in those two weeks, and that is just phenomenal. It is unbelievable. So that's about all I have. Do you yeah. have any questions? Now, you, you also did yoga too, right? Well, I, yeah, that I, I um, got certified to teach yoga because yeah. yoga is one of the things that helped me. It never took away the pain, but it, it got me to a place where I was more flexible and had more mobility, and that seemed to help substantially. But none of it, I still, even with yoga, I couldn't walk more than a block without having that horrible pain. So, um, yeah. So why don't we just show people 
what you did, what the, the moves that you do on the machine. Do you mind? Oh, not at all. Let's, Let me see that's just, machines. Okay. So I'm going to set it on a tenth so okay. that I'm not jiggling so much. So what Dr. Gaitner had me do, the first thing he said when you get on here is to tuck, do a pelvic tuck, which anyone who's done Pilates, you know what that is. And then he had me bend my knees. So I would bend my knees and pretty much when I come here, this is what I do. Now one of the things he also had me do was come down, keeping that pelvic tuck, come down and put my arms up over here and just hold that for a little bit. You'll feel this in your legs and you work up a sweat doing this and then very slowly come up and you can hold on to the machine if you want to, but I have a pretty good sense of balance. So when I'm on here, I do those movements, but then always keeping that pelvic tuck, I also do this turning to the side and whatever I do on one side, I always do on the other side because yoga taught me that and keeping the balance in the body. And that's pretty much it. The machine is set on a 10. When Dr. Gaitner had me get on it, he set it on an 18. And so I usually set it on an 18 when, um, when I get on it. I'm on it for 10 minutes. Um, you know, try to come once a day. I'm gonna get one for my house so that I don't have to come here to do it. No offense, y'all are wonderful and um, very generous this way, but that's, that's what I do. It's nothing violent. There's, thank God, there's no cutting. There's, it, it's, it, you just stand here. You really don't do anything. You just have to be mindful to keep that pelvic tuck. <laughs>